Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing really well. It is Thursday morning, it's a beautiful sunny morning um, and I'm off to meet my sister for lunch. Sorry, this isn't really the best angle is it with my steering wheel there, that's better. Um, yeah, I'm just about to head out to meet my sister for lunch which will be lovely. We have not spent any quality time together, just the two of us, in such a long time. Um, so we are just going to have a little catch up. We're going to the Giggling Squid, which is one of my favourite Thai restaurants. Like they just do the mm, such good Thai food. So we're going there for lunch. We might have a little mooch around town, a little bit of shopping while I'm with her. Um, and yeah, just a nice little day out in the sunshine. I didn't get a chance to show you my outfit before I left the house just because... Pff, as usual, I was in a bit of a rush, um, but it's really not that exciting. I've just got on. I went comfort today. I'm just, I'm so like, yeah, I'm so all about the comfort at the moment. <laughs> um, so I have got on a white long sleeve t-shirt. I've got on my black blazer, my black Everlane blazer over the top. And then I'm also wearing black uh, Lululemon leggings which are just the most comfortable things ever, honestly. Lululemon leggings are so good. And then I've also got on my white Lululemon trainers as well. So very kind of like comfy, casual, chic. I just tied a little sweater, a little jumper around my neck. And that is a very casual outfit. Hopefully I'll be in a shop later and I can show you my outfit. But I mean, not that you really care, do you? It's not that exciting. Um, but I am going to head off. I've also brought my gym kit, actually, because... I haven't been to the gym in such a long time and I just want to do like, I just want to get back into it. So I was thinking while I was out and about after lunch, I might, I mean, realistically, let's, let's, let's uh, be honest. I can't imagine after lunch, I'm going to fancy going to have, to have a workout. But I thought depending on like if we shop after on the way home, I go straight past my gym. So I was thinking I might, I might just nip in for like 20 minutes half hour just to ease myself back into it anyway stop rabbiting i'm gonna head off and meet my sister hey it is 20 to 8 and oh i'm showing you the camera it is <laughs> 20 to 8 and i have just left the gym i went i actually went honestly this morning when i said to you that i was gonna go i was like thinking yeah it's not gonna happen but i've just walked out and oh my goodness like literally from the first three minutes on the treadmill with my music on i was like how have i not done this in so long like it just i just felt so i know it's really annoying when people say that like oh you know you feel amazing when you're at the gym but i just felt this like release like i just felt oh i'm back I'm back. It was so lovely. Um, so lovely. I know that sounds ridiculous. I, I mean, it was like, it was nice. It was really nice. I didn't go too hard. I literally just went, walked uphill for 20 minutes on the treadmill. And then I just did like a few arm weights and a few squats. And that was it. That was literally it. So yeah, I was in there for like 40 minutes or something. Not long, but it was really just what I needed. And when I was on the treadmill, I was listening to red light, red light smells danger what's it who's it by is it billy ocean i think it's billy ocean isn't it that's bad i don't even know who it is it's one of my fate i put it on every time i'm in the gym I'm sure it's billy ocean yeah red light spells danger oh my god this is such a like for me it's such a feel-good song i love it i bloody love it so i had that on in the trip when i was on walking uphill and yeah really good but anyway i'm going home now lou is lou's been with raffi all day he said that earlier on he was like, Rafi was in his bed and then he looked down and he was like, where's he gone? And he went to find him and he was just sitting on the floor next to my bed, just looking up at my side of the bed. <laughs> Could have cried. I was like, oh my baby, I can't wait to see him. So I'm actually really excited to get home and see him because I haven't seen him since like about 11 o'clock. Uh, what time did I leave the house? About 11 o'clock this morning. I haven't seen him. I think it's probably the longest in a day that I've gone not seeing him. Don't I sound like such a sap? Anyway, I'm going to get home, have some dinner, and I will probably chat to you tomorrow. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, had a really, really lovely lunch with my sister. I know I didn't vlog much, um, but uh, yeah, we had such a nice meal and giggling squid. The food was so good. Um, we shared chicken cashew stir fry and a red, uh, like Thai red curry. 
um, with rice and we shared both dishes and oh god it was so good and then um, didn't really do much shopping then head back went back to my mum's and saw like my sister's um, little boy my nephew Tommy and saw my parents and just spent the afternoon there so that's why I'm here so late so yeah that's where I've been anyway I will chat to you tomorrow <laughs> Hey guys, it is the following day now and I know in my last video quite a few of you commented that you missed seeing Rafi so I thought I would try and get him to join me for this little bit of the video but as you can see he doesn't want to, he's been a little little wriggly worm and wants to just explore so I mean maybe we'll try a little bit later. Do you want to get down? Do you want to go? Or do you want to stay with me? What do you want to do? But anyway, little bit of a wrap update. This is how big and fluffy he is now. He is growing so much. And oh, honestly, I'm so obsessed with him. I know I say that in every video, but like, oh, I just love you, don't I? I just love you. Um, <laughs> no. Apart from, when he, apart from when he chews my clothes. Um, but yeah, he's getting so big and fluffy. Like, although most of this is literally fluff, like his little body is still tiny, but he's just really fluffy. So I read that you're not allowed to get them groomed or you're not supposed to get them groomed until six months because it can like disrupt their, um, like damage their coat long-term. So I haven't, um, obviously you can take them for a puppy groom, which is just like a bath and a clip and things which we're going to take him for next week just to get him used to being at the groomers. Arr, wriggly, wriggly. Um, but, shall I put you down? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Come on then. Do you want to get down? Do you want to get down, baby? Go on then. He'll probably be at the door in a minute wanting to come back in. Um, but anyway, I have got a couple of bags here from Amazon Fashion. This little one just arrived this morning. I was waiting for this one to come before I started filming. Um, but I have opened this, but obviously everything inside is still packaged. And I thought I would show you a few bits that I ordered from Amazon Fashion. I am working with them on this part of the video. And as usual, I have found some really great finds. Just a few bits. Um, I think I've got one, two, three, four, five items that I've ordered. Um, and yeah, as usual, hopefully, well, like I said, I haven't looked at any of them yet, but hopefully some good little finds. So the first thing that I ordered is a summer dressing gown. And I have been wanting one of these for a while, one of these waffle, like white waffle robes. Um, and I saw this one on Amazon Fashion and just thought I would try it out and see what it was like. So it's just a very lightweight white robe. You know when it gets to like, obviously we're coming to that time of year when you don't want to put on like your heavier, more like fleecier dressing gowns. You just want to make it a little bit more lightweight. Um, and I just thought this was perfect for a summer dressing gown. So it's in that lovely waffle fabric and all of these pieces I will slip on and show you how they look on as well but it's in lovely waffle fabric, pocket either side, and then a tie and quite wide sleeves. So first impressions looks what, looks, looks good. Um, but I will slip it on and see how it fits on. Oh, okay. This looks like a bit of a wild card, these next trousers. I saw these and just thought, hmm, intriguing. I love. Oh, gosh, why can't I get into it? So, I love kind of like, well, as you can tell, I, although I do kind of feel like I, I look like I'm sat here in my PJs, um, but this isn't, this is like a loungewear set, but I love these type of, maybe not these ones, but you know, like a, anyway, anyway. <laughs> I saw these and I love this style of kind of like knitted or crochet kind of trousers in summer. Um, and these are in like a like a knitted fabric. They are lined about halfway down, I think. They've got like this lining to about halfway down. And then it's kind of like a, can you see, like a little patterned knitted fabric. And I just thought those, this time of year, those with like a white linen shirt 
or just maybe with like a body or a white t-shirt, a pair of sandals. I just thought they looked really nice and very comfortable as well. They've got like a nice thick elasticated waist. They are very, very high waisted. Almost look like they could be a little bit too high waisted. Um, but yeah, I will, I will, again, I will slip those on and see how they look. But first impressions, I feel like they look lovely and they feel nice quality as well. Um, next up, I ordered myself another sloggy bralette. I have raved about my slot. In fact, I've got one on now. I've got like the wide strap, wide strap one on now, which is like, um, I'll leave it linked, but I've spoken about it loads before. I've got this one in black and nude and I wear them like, they're like my everyday bras. They are so comfortable, but for summer, I wanted something similar to this. I could just pop on really comfy, but with thinner straps for if I'm wearing like, like obviously with this one, because the straps are quite thick, if I'm wearing anything a little bit more skimpier, you can see it. Um, so I thought I wanted something similar, but with thinner straps. And so I spotted this one, it's also sloggy. Um, it's got adjustable straps. This one hasn't actually got built-in pads, whereas the one I'm wearing has got quite thin built-in pads. Um, this one obviously hasn't, which to be honest doesn't make much difference to me. And it's in that lovely like silky seam-free fabric as well. So I feel like that is just going to be, yeah, really great little summer bralette. And then I also got myself some summer PJs as well. So it's just like a little short sleeved light blue shirt and then the matching shorts as well. I've actually got these in the navy but like in the long trouser, long um, shirt set and I wear them so much. They're so comfortable and so I thought these would be quite cute for summer as well. They didn't have many colours. Well they did but a lot of the colours I liked were sold out in my size. So I thought the light blue would be quite nice for summer. Um, so I ordered those in a size small. And then the final thing that I ordered from Amazon Fashion is of course a summer dress. I just thought this looked perfect. Now, you guys know I've got this same, well, you, probably, you might may know that I've got this dress already in black and it's just my go-to dress in summer. It's so comfortable. It's lovely, like lightweight, flowy fabric. It's just really nice. And I saw that they did it in like this chambray blue denim. And I love this fabric in summer. I just feel like it's like, that like you've got the look of denim, but like with the softness and the flowiness of like a cotton fabric. Um, so I ordered it in the blue denim and it looks lovely. It actually looks a little bit darker in the flesh that, than the picture online looked, I think. Um, but I just think that with some tan accessories, like a basket bag in summer will be so nice. It's got a pocket either side and yeah, it just, I know it will fit perfectly because my black one fits perfectly. It just flows really nicely. I will also leave it linked in the black as well because it's come back in stock. Like it was, it was sold out last summer, but they've brought it back out in stock again this um, this year. So I'll leave it linked in the black as well. There's loads of different colors, but I thought that this blue denim was just really pretty for spring, summer. That's everything that I ordered. I will have a little try on and show you how everything looks on. Okay, so first of all, this is how the dressing gown looks on. And I actually ordered it in a size small, which it fits perfectly in the small, but I may, I'm thinking of sizing up to a medium just to have it a little bit looser and a little bit baggier. Although maybe it might be too big in the medium. I don't know, it does fit. It does fit well, like the sleeves are a good length. It feels nice on, it's nice and lightweight. It feels comfortable. I feel like it's a good length. Um, yeah, it pretty much ticks every box. It was like what I was looking for in a dressing gown. Very simple. Um, but I don't know, I thought maybe like if I sized up it just might be like a little bit more roomy. So I may swap it for a medium. I would say that if you are unsure, maybe size up, just if you just want it to be that little bit more cosy. Okay, next up, this is how the trousers look on and these are so nice. They are even nicer than I expected them to be. They fit me perfectly, they feel really comfortable on. They are the perfect length on me. And because they're lined, they just feel, like I said, they feel really comfortable. They're lined to just, I think just below my knee, which is quite good because I hate it when trousers like this have like that line 
where they've got like a lining short and then you can see the cutoff point. Whereas I feel like with these, you cannot tell where the lining finishes. Um, the fabric feels really nice, they're a perfect fit. They're not too high waisted, they sit at about here. Um, I have just popped them on with a shirt. I think they look quite nice styled with a linen shirt, but I also think to have like a little white vest or a white t-shirt. Um, yeah, I just think they're a really nice pair of trousers for this time of year when you don't want to wear jeans, you just want something comfy, but they look nice at the same time. I like these a lot. I feel like these were a very good Amazon fashion find. <laughs> also, I have got a much more chilled Raffi now. I feel like he's always so relaxed when I'm carrying him, like he likes to just rest his head on my shoulder and just like he just likes being carried around this is how the pjs look on i ordered these in a size small and i'm glad i did i very nearly went for a medium because i like just to have room um but as you can see the small has got plenty of room there's lots of room on the waistband as well and yeah they fit perfectly in the small so i would recommend kind of going true for true to size in these um and like i said they come in lots of different colors as well i just thought the light blue was quite cute um, and they look quite cute if you like tuck them in as well. Very soft and comfortable and they feel nice quality as well. And like I said, I love my navy ones. I also got a pair in white as well a couple of weeks ago, like a long sleeve pair, which I've been loving. And so I thought that these were a good option for coming into summer. Um, so they will of course be linked below. And then last up, this is how the denim dress looks on. And as suspected, it feels so comfortable on. The, the fabric is lovely and flowy. There's plenty of room. It just feels like there's a lot of movement in it and it'll be really comfortable coming into summer. I have just started up with my tan sandals, which, which I actually got from Amazon Fashion last year, but they're now back in stock. So I will leave them linked if you loved the look of these last year. Um, but you couldn't get your hands on them because they were sold out. They are now back in stock. I think they're around £20. And I honestly wore them so much last year. I feel like they were, the, my, they were my most worn sandal of the year. So I can highly recommend them. They're so comfortable. Um, and they do come in lots of other colours as well. Loads of different colour options. They even come in like a raffia option, which are really nice. Black, which is a great option. Um, so I will leave my sandals linked too. Um, but yeah, dress looks and feels really nice. It's got pockets either side. I think also maybe with like a white linen shirt over the top, worn open, it would look nice. Um, yeah, just a very kind of like comfortable, casual, easy summer dress. Um, so like I said, everything I featured from Amazon Fashion will be linked below in the description box. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. And we have just come back from puppy socialising class, which was so lovely. Rafi was such a good boy. I know you can't really see him behind my steering wheel. Let me just prop him up a little bit. I feel like there's like a million cars. You're tired out though, aren't you? You have literally, he was such a good boy. He was playing with all of the other little dogs and running around and just had the best time. Didn't you? Yes, you did. You loved it there, didn't you? Um, so yeah, he had a really, really nice time. I feel like the majority of this video, by the way, I've been in my car vlogging. <laughs> um, but I think it's just because I've just been rushing around everywhere. But yeah, we went to puppy socialising class and at first he was quite nervous, but then he got playing and he really, really enjoyed it. And he was such a good boy, so I'm definitely going to go back with him again. Um, I think they do like midweek classes as well. So we're going to go back one day this week, but he's literally exhausted. So I've just pulled up outside my mum and dad's house. I think me, my mum and my sister with her dogs and my mum's dog 
are gonna go for a little walk kind of like in the woods near here which would be nice for him as well i mean i might let him have a little bit of a nap first and some lunch are you hungry are you a hungry boy do you like some food should we go inside and get you some food <laughs> he's like where where's the food yes i jolly well am hungry past your lunch time isn't it it's nine minutes past your lunch time <laughs> we're gonna go inside and get him some lunch i probably shouldn't have said that now because now i've teased him but i'm gonna take him to, to my mum and dad's have some lunch and then go out for a little afternoon walk good boy rafi Baby, we're gonna get one over one, aren't we? Hey guys, I am feeling rather excited as Lo and I are off to London this afternoon to see Elton John. We were very, very kindly invited by Klarna um, into like a box. They've got a box at the O2 and Elton John is, it's like his last tour. Um, and yeah, super excited. So we are heading up to London in a bit to see Elton John this evening, which should be amazing. Like it just, I mean, we're not necessarily like big Elton fans, but I feel like having the chance to see Elton John in concert in his last concert is just like an absolute yeah once in a lifetime experience so very excited we are going to head off now we're actually going to drive halfway because annoyingly our last train to where we live like back from London is at half 10 and I feel like I don't really know what time it's going to finish so it's like that kind of cut off point not wanting to push it and miss the train so we're going to drive halfway and then jump on the train into London um and yeah really exciting actually i went to the o2 a couple of weeks ago to see ed sheeran i was invited by um by o2 to see ed sheeran and was in a box to see him as well i mean it's the first time i've been and i've like both of them have come up in the past like month first time i've ever been in a box and they've both been within a month um, but that was incredible ed sheeran was so so good so i'm really excited like i feel like the whole experience of being in the box was just incredible last time so yeah anyway anyway i thought i'd quickly show you my outfit before i go i went for comfortable but chic and like just yeah because obviously we're going to be sitting down um and i wanted something quite comfortable so i have got on my h m blazer um underneath i have got on this maxi dress from free people what's well, kind of like a maxi midi length it's got a slit at the back and it's just really comfortable it's in like a knitted ribbed fabric um long sleeves and like a v-neck and then i've also got on my vajas and my coach bag my earrings are like my little double duet hoops from majuri and then i've got on my chunky chain necklace from monica vinader and then obviously all of my usual rings from majuri as well so that is my outfit and yeah off we go we are here thank you for being so patient and keeping your tickets for all that time and the only way we, we can be, repay your patience is by doing a great show. It's our last show on this run. This is our ninth show here. We're coming back in May to do one more, but let's end on a good one. Here we go. Tell everybody 
the dark like a candle on the wind Never knowing who to cling to when the rain set in day now and we had the best time last night we just had the most wonderful evening Elton was incredible I feel like he just you could see how much passion he had for the music and just how grateful he was for like all of his fans that were there obviously he had fans in the audience that had bought their tickets years ago I think it was like two years ago the concert was meant to be and obviously it was rescheduled um, and it was just, it was just such a wonderful evening. He was so good. He put everything into the performance. His band were amazing as well. Like he introduced all of the, um, all of the different members of his band and said a little bit about each one. And the camera kind of zoomed in on them every now and then when they're performing. And you could just see like how much they were all enjoying it. Like the passion on all of their faces and how into every every performance every song they were into it was, it was really really wonderful we had the most amazing time um and we had a really good view where we were sitting and yeah we just had the best evening really lovely met some really lovely people as well that were in the same box as us um a girl called georgia who also um does youtube as well i think she's called georgia may i'm sure she's called georgia may um, but I met her and her mum and she was so lovely and yeah, there was just a really nice group of people and we had a lovely evening, a really lovely evening and I'm glad we drove halfway as well because we wouldn't have made our last train because um, he was on for a good, say a good like two and a half hours I think, um, so we didn't end up getting back till late but mum looked after little Raffy for us and um, yeah really lovely um but i thought i would just jump on to kind of finish off the video i've just had a couple of bits that have arrived this morning that i thought i'd quickly unbox with you and show you um these two i did um like open the boxes but i haven't like actually opened the bits inside yet so i thought i'd go through some through some of those although i've got a very a very sleepy raffi on me a very cuddly baby today haven't i gorgeous and I never want to put him down when he's like this. I love it when he like nuzzles his little head into my neck. I just, oh, it just melts me. It absolutely melts me. And I just can't feel so bad putting him down. <laughs> we just love each other too much, don't we, baby? Yes, we do. <laughs> but he'll probably wriggle away when I start um, opening these bits anyway. Um, but first of all, I've got this little package. Well, I've got two bits from Tom Ford, actually, which is very exciting indeed but this is a fragrance and it says tom ford beauty the most sens the most sensu sensual soleil tuberose and warm ambers evoke sunset light over the sea new soleil de fou and it is a fragrance called soleil de fou um, which I haven't opened yet, but I mean, if any of the other Tom Ford fragrances are to go by, this is going to smell lovely, isn't it? What do you reckon it's going to smell like? Are you interested? <laughs> oh, I love the like the packaging as well. How pretty does that look? Gorgeous. Let's have oh, a lovely bottle as well. I feel like I really recognise this bottle, but maybe it's like. It must be similar to, sorry Raffi, it must be similar to another one. Right, oh, oh, I can smell it before I've even sprayed it. I haven't got any perfume on yet today, so I'm going straight in because I feel like, I feel like I'm going to love it because I love Tom Ford. Um, oh, that is stunning. That is so stunning. It's quite um, musky. It's like got that like spiciness to it. 
but it's also got like a lovely kind of summery feel to it at the same time. I feel like that would make, that would make a really lovely like summer evening fragrance. Um, but yeah, really lovely little bottle. You okay, do you want to get down? Were you quite happy? Do you want to get down? As if he's gonna just turn to me and go, yeah, is that all right if I just hop down for five? <laughs> um, I've only got my knees up like this, by the way, to kind of like support him in place. Um, and then another package from Tom Ford. This is some lipsticks. So, I don't know if I've still got the note. No, I haven't got the note. No. So these are the Liquid Lip Luxe Matte Lipsticks. And they've sent out three shades. I've got Smitten, Scarlet Rouge, and Temptress. I'm gonna try Temptress. I feel like I'm gonna pop one of them on because I did put a bit of lipstick on this morning, but obviously I haven't got much more on, much left now. This is Temptress, really beautiful, like summer rouge. I feel like that in the summer. Oh, that is lovely. It actually comes out slightly more like cherry red than I thought it was going to be. In the packaging, it looked like more of like a corally red, but that is really pretty and it feels lovely and like velvety light. And then this one, Smitten. I reckon that might be a nude because the other one, yeah, there we go. Let's try this one out. Oh, that looks like, oh, it feels really lovely and light. Right. Hopefully. How does that? Oh, it's very pigmented, isn't it? Very pigmented indeed. Sorry, Raph. <laughs> what do we think of that? That is lovely. I can only see it in the little viewfinder, but it does look a very lovely nude shade. Exactly what I like. A nice nude. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you approve? Um, and then finally, a little packet from Elements, which is always another exciting one to receive. I love, oh, do you know what? That is just what I needed. A pro collagen cleansing balm. I have ran out of this. And actually at the moment I'm using an Estee Lauder cleansing bar, es Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder cleansing bar, which I'm actually really enjoying. It is a lovely cleanser, but this is an all time favorite of mine, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So very to have, very happy to have on top of that. This is the Pro Collagen Glow Boost Exfoliator. I've not tried that before. I don't know if that's new. Oh yeah, that is new. So this is probably a little PR package for the new Pro Collagen Glow Boost Exfoliator. Yes. Pro tip, this one is gentle enough to use in a circular motion on the lips too. Well, that's always handy at this time of year, isn't it? And then these, I've seen loads of people talking about these recently. Um, not specifically these ones, but these go on your wrist for when you're washing your face. So that when you, you know sometimes when it splashes down your sleeve, this is to stop the makeup, uh, the water from running down your sleeve um, and up your arms when you're trying to wash your face and take your makeup off. So they, will be handy um but i thought i would just quickly unbox those bits with you before i finish off the video um and i think i'm gonna end it here and have a little snuggle with you a little snuggle and then get on with some editing and um yeah have a day have an afternoon on my laptop um but i really hope that you enjoyed the video and um Thank you so much for watching. I'm a little bit distracted, aren't I? You can tell though. I mean, look, look how cute he is. How cute are you? Are you the cutest? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> you don't want to lick my lipstick off. You don't want that. That's not very nice for your tummy. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish off the video here. Um, thank you so much for watching. And oh, look, he's giving me a hug. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye bye <laughs>